I'm Brian Westbrook with GeekWire Studios here at AWS reInvent 2024. Joined now by the Chief Technology Officer and Engineering Leader, Rakesh Ruvari, and the Group Vice President of Engineering for AI and Data Capability, Center of Excellence Lead at Publicis Sapient, Sudan Rangarati. First of all, welcome to you both. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here. We've got a lot to get to. I want to talk first about your latest AI innovation, Sapient Slingshot, and specifically how it's changing that software development landscape that really is always, always evolving. Tell us about that. Thank you for inviting us out here today. Um, look, software development, like any other manufacturing process, is a process of manufacturing software. Like manufacturing industry, which went through various industrial revolution, right now it is a moment of disruption for software manufacturing. It is our industrial revolution moment right now. And AI is playing a big part. And as you've seen, AI is there everywhere. So what we realized is software development re requires a rethink. And the rethink is not just about code generation. It is about the entire software development life cycle, all the way from how you write the specs. How do you convert the specs into stories for development? How do you take the stories and convert them into designs and into code? And how do you take the code, how do you test it, and how do you deploy it? So what we are doing is investing in a platform. Because right now we see that there are a lot of point solutions and there are a lot of startups which are uh, concentrating in individual plat uh, point solutions. But what we realized is like, like you can take an example for Office. Office was successful because they built a platform and a suite of products on, the, on top of it. Similarly, what we feel is software development will be really successful if you build a platform for software development and tie it all the tools together and create an end-to-end -end ecosystem to take the true power of AI. And that is what we are investing in. How are you defining and implemented specifically AI-assisted agile development methodologies? Look, if you look at Agile, it is 24 years old. Like the Agile started with a manifesto in late 2000, like the Agile manifesto, right? right. The manifesto was created for humans to collaborate better, right? It is about people's interactions and all. Sure. But right now, people are not the only ones who is doing software, right? Like the AI is doing 80% of the software. So it is about people's interactions with AI which will define the success of the software development. So we redefined Agile manifesto or evolved it. And we rewrote the, the original four principles to make AI a first class citizen. And what we believe is that is really important for the next generation of software processors. How Agile was successful the last 25 years. For the next 25 years, we need an AI assisted Agile, and that is our methodology for taking software forward. I mean, we've talked about software development life cycles and software development methodologies for probably 50, 50, 60 years now. Agile, of course, took it over. I remember as a software developer myself, like being excited about that new technology. You mentioned giving AI a seat at the table. What does that look like? How do you give AI a seat at the table? Is it more about recognizing that AI does, as you say, 80% of the code? See, if you see Agile, Agile was when the automation and the cloud was coming into picture, right? Like the CI, CD, and how do you automate the processes? How do you, as soon as you check in, how does it build, et cetera, right? Now, AI is taking care of a lot of well-defined processes, right? AI can do automatic testing for you. AI can do the deployment. AI can generate code for you, right? So there are lots of tasks which are well understood. There's no longer for humans need to do. Humans can go to the higher level of value addition and more creativity, and that is where they should be investing time. And you should take care of all the plumbing with AI. So, all the mundane tasks. So it is yeah. not about AI taking over software development, but AI assisting you in all the well understood routine jobs. So AI assisted agile is like, how do you put those processes back into the process? Like for example, whenever you check into code, yeah. can you have AI review it? The yeah. same way how credit card transaction, 90% of the credit card transactions are fraud checked by a system and only 10% are flagged for human review. Right now, 100% is need to be a human reviewed code review, right? That is agile process, peer review. But right now with AI, you can have AI review the code 90% of the time. Only 10% can be offloaded to, yeah, flagged for human. So that's a process change. So you need to incorporate those processes into your software development. And that is what we call AI-assisted agile. That's fantastic. Now I want to ask you, Sudan, why should companies invest in AI platforms for their digital business transformation? Yeah, that's a great question. See, if you, I don't know, I think four years back, we realized that uh, less than 10% of AI projects really see the light of day, right? Uh, if you look at why that is the case, though people are uh, eager and curious to see how AI can make a difference, but they don't really understand that what makes it work, Like right? They spend a lot of time in experimentation, uh, learning things from ground up, right? And uh, four years back we said, you know, we are going to build it as a platform, build your best practices, 
bake it into a platform so that a lot of the, there's a lot of reuse of best practices number one number two is faster return of investment right so if you talk to many of the things they have experiments going on in different parts of their enterprise right they are not bringing it all together a platform makes sure that there is a lot of collaboration synergy between the solutions that we are building across the thing so our platform in fact is called bodhi right bodhi is uh, the name of the tree under which buddha got enlightenment our principle is that if you bring the right data at the right place in the right time you have better insights or enlightenment so that's the principle behind bodhi bodhi consists of a best practices in a platform as well as a lot of capabilities on top of it and that's what we are uh, using for uh, running and kind of showing some results for our clients in a matter of weeks uh, what us- usually takes usually months or years for many of our clients Take me through the process. You're going to a client, and I know you've got a lot of clients here at the show. You also have a lot of new clients that you're signing up every day. Uh, how do you explain to them that not only is AI the future and it's in the headlines, but it's transforming their businesses? Sure. See, we always, uh, at Publicis Sapient, we believe in what is the value you're creating, right? Like, see, AI is just a means, it's just a tool. So we don't start with AI. We start with what value are you creating, why why should you disrupt your businesses whom are you competing with who are your uh, what you can say what does your environment look like we start with that and what value you create and ai is used as a tool to accelerate that value ai is used as a tool to unlock new value streams so our conversation always with our clients start with okay what problem are you trying to solve and what value are you trying to create and then say how can ai help you reach that value faster like so we believe in better faster and a differentiated solution right so we can create faster solution like that is something which everyone immediately gravitates towards you saying oh with ai it is easier right like that is faster but that is just the the what you can say low hanging fruit right what you need to think about is is it better are you creating better solution are you creating better value and then the most important thing is in this day of competition and like everyone has access to technology and resources are you being differentiated and the differentiation will come from new value streams so we concentrate on that and that is our core principle right create value for our customers transform your business not just automate and improve the efficiency of your business lift and shift right that's fantastic we're going to leave it right there that's amazing i love the stuff that you're doing i've been a fan of publicis for quite some time very great to see the both of you and thank you for joining us here at geekware studios i'm Brian Westbrook and thanks for watching